different options very quickly. They know how to get to the goal um, and, and the different uh, pathways to get to the goal very quickly. Okay. Learner is they, they love to, to, to learn new things, but also to do things better. Maximizers love to take things from average to excellence. People with input gather information um, that could be helpful later um, and, and helpful to people. And then adaptability is so they respond to the present pressures uh, very quickly. And people with adaptability also um, are, are great in, in, you know, when there's emergencies and and really times of, of crisis. So, Nora, I bet that your adaptability strength re is really showing up, you know, in, in this time. Yes, Magrit, so the, the interesting thing was that, um, that in the face of this global pandemic, so there, were, there was the, the run up to the arrival of COVID-19 in South Africa. We all knew it was coming. We all knew it was going to be a game changer. We knew it was going to be different. Uh, we knew it was going to be bad news. But um, what I did not anticipate that was that on the eve of lockdown, I would be energized. And I felt a little bit guilty about it because I thought, you know, it's, this is, we are talking about people's lives, probably even my own, who knows? We're talking about lives here. We're talking about a global crisis, a global pandemic, the immeasurable uh, suffering that so many people in our country, but across the globe, are already facing. And it's it's tragic, and it's devastating, and uh, and on a, on an emotional level, you know, my my heart goes out to to everyone who's suffering, and I sometimes envision the kinds of suffering that people have to deal with but despite feeling that emotion in my heart i felt energized at the at the start of what was to be known as lockdown sa and that was strange i i, I did not quite understand uh, what to do with with this new energy that i felt and the only way that i could make sense of that was when I realized, wait, wait, I think some of my strengths are at play here. Mm, mm. I realized that strategic kicked in straight away, immediately saw a number of scenarios playing out globally, locally, in my work, in my team that I manage, in the program that I run nationally. I saw scenarios play out, and that was that wasn't, uh, it, it was actually exciting. It was interesting to think that, yes, there might be change coming or there's sure to be change coming. What would this change potentially look like? And then on a different level, I could see opportunities. I could see amidst all the despair and the and the suffering and the uh, hardship, I could see potential possibilities emerge. Mm. I could also see a couple of risks, you know, in terms of strategic risks that I needed to manage in my team and that I needed to perhaps alert my organization to. So uh, identifying the risks were also part of how strategic kind of came to the fore in this in the announcement uh, you know immediately after the announcement of uh, lockdown mm. the strategic like say people with strategic are able to see it around the corner so in in all of this i was painfully aware that i wasn't seeing it, you know all the scenarios i'm sure i i missed a number of potential scenarios i couldn't possibly anticipate all the scenarios but i anticipated some and uh, and I anticipated some risks, and it gave me a strange sense of control to to feel that I can do something to manage those risks, that I need to manage those risks in collaboration with my team, and uh, that we need to take certain action steps in terms of work. Uh, 
um, given the potential risks that we were, we were about to face.